So if I put in front of you um, a subtraction, something like, um, let's say, 40 take away 25, the majority of you at this stage should be able to do that one in your head. Okay, So 40 take away 25 is 15. If I reversed the numbers, and I'm now looking at 25 take away 40, some of you may be thinking, well, you can't do that. Um, while some other of you may be inferring, okay, then we need to go into negative numbers. And you may well have been taught to do this using a number line. So at 25, if we subtract 25, we would get ourselves to zero. And now I need to subtract another 15 to make sure I've subtracted 40 overall, which would get me to minus 15. Okay, so that's all perfectly well and good. 25 take away 40 is minus 15. But clearly, using a number line like this is quite cumbersome. So really what you want to be able to do is you want to say to yourself, okay, well 25 take away 40 will be the same as doing 40 take away 25 is 15, and then stacking a negative in front of my answer. So this is kind of like a really, kind of, it feels a bit cheap, but it will speed up your calculations. So let's look at another one. So let's say we had something more complicated, like 187 take away uh, 500, 600, and uh, 562, sorry. So, if you were given this, this is a little bit more tricky to do in your head. So, why not just do 562 take away 187? 2 take away 7 I can't do, so I need to borrow 1 from the 6. 12 take away 7 is 5. 5 take away 8 I can't do, so I need to borrow 1. 15 take away 8 is 7, and 4 take away 1 is 3. So 187 take away 562 is minus 375. Okay? So you just stick the negative in front when you've calculated the difference the other way around. Okay? And this will allow you to subtract a larger number from a smaller one.